blood collection complete. Thank you for your generosity. Looking for this? Surprise! Fragile warped me here. I finally got to visit the beach. Well, her beach. Don't worry. I didn't come all this way for the sightseeing. Your beloved BB has a serious issue. You may recall me explaining that these incubators connect BBs via the chiral network to their still mothers back at HQ. Bridge babies are quite literally bridges between this world and the other side. Their place is not here with us, nor with the BTs over there. They belong precisely in between, with no greater affinity for one world or the other. But BB-28 here has been leaning further and further towards the world of the living. Towards you, Sam. It's because we're partners. <laughs> partners? Sam, a baby's a tool, not a human being. Bridge, yes. Baby, no. So tell me what the problem is. This tool, this weapon, is transforming into a living being. It's gaining weight. Its brain activity is increasing. It's accumulating memories. BB-28 is becoming self-aware, becoming an actual child. Doesn't sound like a problem to me. It's hardware, Sam. Manufactured for a purpose. A purpose that cannot fulfill outside the pod. There is a 70% risk of catastrophic failure simply in removing it which hardly matters because at this point, it'll cease functioning within a couple of days. Cease functioning? That's right. Not even the pod will be enough. It'll be bricked. What do we do? We reset it. You'll have to leave it with me, of course. I'll cut the cord that links the two of you and then perform an operation that reconnects it to the other side. Think of it as a little tug to correct its alignment to put it back where it belongs, right between the world of the living and the dead. But like I said, you'll have to be without it for a while. You're sure this'll work? <clears throat> of course. One catch, though. The surgery may erase its memories. Erase? Will forget me? Relax. The BB will still function as intended. You just have to trust me. Come on. Uh, I'm telling you, it's like a game. Just select retry and start again. Uh, oh. uh, and this is why I hate these things. Uh, oof. Uh, Sam. I was already filthy from my trip through the beach, but now your BB has added insult to injury. in here. 
just you and me. No audio records of what we say. No video for lip reading analysis. Get closer. Die Hardman cannot know of this. Understood? I've been doing some digging into the first BP experiments. Officially, they were suspended by the government following a void out which claimed the life of the then acting president. Documents were shredded. BB technology banned, yes? But obviously, the experiments continued in secret on the direct orders of President Strand. President? The BBs were essential to solving the mystery of the Death Stranding. Oh, she had big plans for them. They weren't designed just to be BT detectors. She wanted to incorporate them into the Cairo network to facilitate travel to the beach. But none of her plans ever came to fruition. And now BB Tech has fallen into terrorist hands. What's Die Hardman's part in this? I'm afraid to find out. I don't know how long he was working for Strand. I don't even know his real name or his face. I thought you might, since you two go further back. He was already wearing a mask when I met him. Something about burning his face. Right. Sorry. Any data we have from back then is classified at the highest level. As far as I know, the director is the only one with clearance. But the Cairo Network presents a new opportunity. By compiling fragmented data in the public domain from all across the country, I might be able to piece together a little more of the puzzle. Be careful, Sam. They're watching. Well, Sam, you're a good sport. I'll give you that. Still, it's a fine way to get out of doing the laundry. Just fix BB, all right? Oh, no. You'll be doing the fixing. I'd never manage without your help. <laughs> Check the delivery terminal upstairs for the details. When you're ready, of course. Ships with the preppers by making deliveries and convince them to come on board. 
It's not easy to make a home for yourself in those mountains. Even so, plenty of people had a mind to try. You'll find shelters scattered throughout. We've got a whole list of orders from them waiting to be processed. Remember, though, that you're dealing with folks who chose to live out there. Folks who probably value their privacy. Don't think for a second it'll be easy to win them over. You will have to earn their trust, bit by bit, job by job. Another thing, Sam. You'll be making runs without a BB for a spell. That will vastly diminish your ability to detect BTs. So keep your eyes and ears open for anything out of the ordinary. And stay the hell out of the rain if you can help it. Sam? You read me? Um, Lagna? Uh-huh. Calling you via a bridge's dedicated line. I've been asked to carry on in my sister's place and provide you with support. We're whole again. One. Forever and always. We still speak, so I shouldn't have any trouble getting up to speed. You back with Bridges then? It's not about that. Never was. It's about what she wants. What we want. And why shouldn't we help you? You helped us. We're all connected now. attachments or homesickness either. Perhaps its memory was erased after all. All that remains is for you to hook it up and take it for a run. I was hoping to return it to you as soon as possible, but uh, I don't want to. I mean, I do, but it's a little more complicated than that. What? We've got a problem. You may have heard about the massive supercell heading right for Mountain Knot City. I left my facility to perform some additional tests on the BB in the field. And now I find myself unable to return. You know the cabin on the mountainside? The northeast of Mountain Knot? Let's meet there.
Ugh. <sighs> 